This Victorian primary school is building Asia literacy and developing intercultural understanding with their Indonesian sister school through a local environmental sustainability project. The project is also providing a meaningful connection with Indigenous studies. This authentic context is creating a seamless integration of all three cross-curriculum priorities, Asia literacy, sustainability and Indigenous studies. We started at the start not thinking we, we need to teach our kids about mangroves. We looked at our area and thought our children don't know a lot about global issues. They're very much centred in a, a fairly isolated community here, a fairly rural community, but right at, in our back door was our beautiful Western Port Bay, which is a very unique environmental ecosystem. We started looking at the area and a discussion came about, about mangroves and that then extended to researching and then to taking action through their mangrove regeneration program. What are you hoping to do with the seeds? Uh, we'll take them back to school and we're gonna, Tim's going to show us how to plant them. We're going to propagate them to school and then we're going to come out and plant them in areas that need mangroves to stop the erosion. Whilst we were travelling to Jogjakarta on a language cultural immersion program, we stopped in Lombok and we met Hanny, a marine biologist, who was working with a school in a similar coastal area that had mangroves as a focus as well. We have a sister school in Lombok called SDN3 Tekalok and um, we've been funding them by doing a lot of fundraisers at our school so that um, they can go out and have a look at their mangroves, go hands on. Hanny had a blog depicting what was going on uh, with the SDN3 school and their project with their mangroves. We would email back to Hanny and to the children with photos and letters explaining what we were doing with ours. When they write to us, they write about their mangroves and where their mangroves grow and their life in Indonesia. She also gave us some books, so like this one. Example. So it's got pictures of kids at school here. This is a boy and he's at his house. So they're very poor over there, so they haven't got a lot. So that's where they had to get their water every day and their showers there. Links are being formed and intercultural understanding between the two communities strengthened through a focus on an environmental issue that affects both as they communicate and exchange ideas across their cultures. The most important thing about our link with Lombok is the shared learning that's going on between teachers to teachers and between the students and students. The students' research into mangroves led them to discover an important connection between them and the traditional owners of the land. Auntie Caroline is a, an elder from the Bunurong area, that's our area down here. Auntie Caroline explained the, how important to the Indigenous people the coastal waters and the bay was. She's been telling us how when the Aboriginals had this land they, they looked after it, after it, they take care of it and they preserved it and that we need to help carry that on so then the future generations can have the lovely sights and the environment that we've had the privilege to see and look after. Our involvement in this mangrove regeneration project and our studies of Asia, Indigenous and sustainability have really allowed our children to have deep understandings in their inquiry approach to learning. So our kids now are leaders in their learning and they actually are taking action themselves and what they would like to do in, in across those three areas.